This is our new PTO log saw. We'll be doing the demonstration on a, on a 616. But uh, a small tractor would also do anything up to 20 horsepower. My cartridge here is cutting logs up to 10 and a quarter inches. Just cut it effortlessly. This new PTO I know has a safety cover from protecting from the, the disc. When the cover goes down to the last, it will allow the chamber that carries the log going against the disc. You will notice on Mick's right hand, he's pushing the log grip to hold the log steady while cutting. The tractor is running at a 540, approximately 15, 1600 grams. Less would even do on smaller stuff, to just when we're cutting maximum 10 inch stuff at the higher rates. This is a very trouble free, maintenance free machine. It's driven on a double belt system, the same as the other system we used before. It has an automatic shut off, an emergency, an emergency shut off, and let the other side. This machine is very good to clear sawdust from recycling around with the disc. Now obviously as you can see it needs to be cleaned right underneath it, but it never recycles any sawdust. The saw can easily cope with hardwoods. They're actually even easier to put a hardwood. It's a very fine timber compared to the screws.
view from the other side of the PTO saw. It's very important to note that the log, when it's in place for cutting in the log chamber, that the top cover must go down to the lace in order to let the chamber table go in towards the disc. Mick is cutting short logs here just to demonstrate from this angle rather than any other wood. Down to the last makes it go inwards. Mick is now demonstrating the safety knock off handle. This turns off the disc from rotating in case of an emergency rather than going to the cab. Mick is now pulling back the handle towards the machine that puts the disc rotating for cutting again. This is a new CE certification for safety. I just demonstrated in action here the safety handle. Away from the machine to turn off the disc. Pull back the chamber to release it from the wood. Pull it towards the machine again, the red handle. That activates the disc to rotate again for cutting. This is mainly used just in the case of an emergency. Push it forward, turn off the disc, pull it back towards the machine to rotate the disc again. This is a very pulley system similar to a traction built in a combine. It is an old system that's been used for years in machining. This is the telescopic log arm. This is the bracket to release the log chamber. Okay, just demonstrating the log grip, press towards the log room cutting. There is a log lint measure on the right hand side. The log chute is very useful if you want to put the bucket of a loader or a transfer box or a wheelbarrow under it. Cover must be down to the last of the mission in temporary. The safety. This is about, in total, all the logs and around the machine is about 10 minutes cutting. As I say, this is just around 616 John Deere. No need of that kind of power. And when finished, push in your telescopic arrow, put on the close, finished bracket. Thank you for watching our video at Hartnett Products.